Hey, what's up, fellas? It's almost 12 o'clock. I'm going to do this video because uh, one of the people I follow on YouTube just did a video proving that the $40 billion we sent to the Ukraine, part of that money is going to literally, and I'm literally saying this, literally going to support neo-Nazis, actual Nazis. It's in the Azov Battalion. So my, my Congresswoman, Veronica Escobar, decided to vote yes to sending $40 billion to the Ukraine, in part, which some of that's going to actually go to funding neo actual Nazis. How is she going to justify that? You know, when the two parties go against each other in the uh, upcoming elections in November, they're going to have a debate. How do you defend? Here's another thing she, Miss, my Congresswoman, Miss Escobar, didn't vote for. She didn't vote after some guy was going to fly across the country from Simi Valley to Maryland, where Justice Kavanaugh lives at his home. He had a gun, a knife, zip ties, crowbars, all, anyways. And he intended to kill Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. You know what Ms. Escobar voted on that? She voted no to increase their security and yes to support neo-Nazis. I, I ask myself now, and especially I ask myself about the younger men coming up. And I wrote this down, so I'm going to have to look up and, 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 and tell you. Uh, read it. Are the younger men's lives in America getting better or worse? Do you remember the promises from the Democratic Party? $15 an hour minimum wage. College debt forgiveness. How about the $2,000 check so these young people can get back on their feet? How about Medicare for all? So if you get sick, you won't go but bankrupt, and you'll at least be able to be taken care of and made healthy again. None of these promises were kept by the Democratic Party. But you know what they did do? They sent $40 billion in one of the deepest, darkest inflationary periods of our lives to the Ukraine, who literally, actually, literally, I'll put the, I'll put the link in the description to the uh, Jimmy Dore Show, the Jimmy Dore Show. And he goes over it step by step. They sent, they, they all vo voluntarily voted to send 40 billion U.S. dollars to Ukraine, one of the most corrupt countries on earth, who also, oh, by the way, have actual, literal neo-Nazis, and they're sponsoring them. All right. Now add into that gas prices are going out of control. Food prices are going out of control. Nobody's wages are going up. Shortness, short, uh, shortages in baby formula. Shortages in food. And w what are they doing? What are they doing now besides putting on a show trial? I, I don't... I don't understand it at all. And... I completely believe in democracy, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unbelievable, unbelievable to me how many people are asleep at the wheel. Where's the $40 billion to bail out our, our young people? I don't need the money. They offered it to me. I'd give it to somebody else. Where's the money? Where's the $40 billion for new jobs? Where's the $40 billion for housing? Where's the $40 billion to put into our parks and recreations and our roads and our schools and that, and then hire people to do the work. It's sad, man. I, I just, I don't understand it. I hope you young men stay safe and healthy. I hope you take care of each other if you can. But before you do anything for anybody, you must take care of yourself. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.